I've come to the Anchor Wat Museum today. I will put a little picture of the ticket here and also I will put the price for the entrance fee and for the audio tour as well. But you're not allowed to bring water in here so it is ridiculously hot. I am sweating like crazy and you're not allowed to have any water while you're inside. So make sure you're fueled up with all your liquids before you come in. If you get the chance, you should definitely check out the Anchor National Museum in Siem Reap. It's an incredible place that gives you the history and culture of the Anchor civilization. The museum has eight galleries filled with ancient artifacts about the Khmer Empire. It's a perfect way to get some context before visiting the Angkor Wat temples themselves. I thoroughly enjoyed going around that museum. It was so worth it and I'm glad that I've done it before I've been to Angkor Wat itself. All I have to do now is decide whether I'm going to do Anchor Wat as a group tour or go on my own. And I walked to the museum as well from my accommodation. It was about a half hour walk, something like that. But my new sun jacket is coming into its own right now. After the museum, I continued walking up the road to Killingfield. I think this is the second to last road that I've got to turn into. Things are getting quite small now. And it is so hot. It really did seem like a good idea at the time. But now I'm just, again, really not so sure. The Killing Fields in Siem Reap is one of those places that's incredibly haunting but really important to visit if you're in Cambodia. The fields are a series of sites where massive atrocities were committed by the Khmer Rouge regime in the late 1970s. When you visit, you'll see lots of memorials and signs explaining the brutal history. It's so sobering to be there and realize what happened. Over a million people lost their lives in these fields. There's one main site near Siem Reap. It's not as large or well known as the one near Phnom Penh but it's incredibly impactful. You walk through and see the remains of mass graves. It's chilling. But what's really striking is how quiet it is. Like the place itself is still in mourning. They have a small museum with photographs, personal stories and historical context which helps you understand the sheer scale of the horror that took place. It's definitely not an easy visit. It's emotionally tough, but it's also so important for understanding Cambodia's history and the resilience of its people. I think it gives you a deeper appreciation for the country and its culture and it makes you realise how far they've come since those dark times. If you're ever in Siem Reap, I'd recommend going, but maybe plan something lighter afterwards to process and balance out the day.